Harberger and I'm with the Fulton County Public Library. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm also with the Fulton County Library. And today we are going to make a heirloom teacup pincushion. Um, as you can see here, we have one done. And today we're going to kind of show you how you can actually make this beautiful little ornament here. Okay. First of all, what we've done, we found a cute little teacup. Actually, this is a coffee creamer, which you can use anything you have at home. An old mug, a canning jar, anything that has a hole in it. So what we've done, we've cut a piece of material. And the fun part is picking up your fabric. We just, we decided to go with this. What you're going to do is cut a pretty good sized little square. And then Kristen's going to show you here how we stuff it. Fiber fill. And a little trick that we learned in the front of the teacup, the very top for your top, is um, very, very fine steel wool. That helps keep your needles sharp when you're taking them in and out. What you're going to do is just stuff it really, really full. And to get the about amount of the stuffing, you're going to take a bunch of stuffing, put it into your cup, Fill it as tight as you can, and that's about the amount of stuffing that you're going to need. So Kristen's going to play with it here a little bit. It's just trial and error. The fiber fill seems to have its own mind. I'm just going to gather up the four corners. Take a piece of twine rope. Yeah, that kind of works. So then what we're going to do, we're going to grab it. And as close as you can get it to the top, you're just going to tie it. And then play with it to try to get all your little wrinkles out. And let's take a look here. I think I made it less tight. Yeah, that's fine. What you're going to do then, you've got it ready. Just take your scissors. Don't cut all the way up to the cord. You'll cut it too short. Just cut that off. Cut that off. And you're just going to shove it in there. You're going to play with it. Fiber will, will smash down. It's fine. And we're not going to glue this. Um, you can glue it, but we decided not to. So this way you could use your heirloom teacups. Um, you're not ruining anything. Just sets really pretty in there, and that's actually kind of pretty. Very, very simple. Now the fun part, decorating your cup. What we found, Miss Matt Saucer. You can actually glue that on. Um, I use, um, it's called Fix-All Adhesive. You can also use, I think it's called E600 or it's E900 at the craft stores. It's glue that will hold glass or ceramics. Use just a dab. You put it around, let put it on, and let it set. I would let it set for at least 24 hours. Um, you don't want it to get all over the place. Once that's dried, you don't have to, but I did because I have a tendency of dropping things. So let's say we did that. The fun part now is to decorate it. Um, it's endless. We have ribbons. We have leather. We have rope, we have old lace that we've tore apart, we have antique buttons, we have rickrack. If any of you don't know what rickrack is, it's an old fashioned. Comes in all sizes, all colors. With the blue, you could actually take your glue and you could just go all the way around it, but for this one, I think what we're going to do is basically just tie ribbons. And Kristen's going to pick out some colors of ribbons. And all you have to do is match up your ribbons to your material. And here's the scissors. And you cut a length like, uh, I'd say this long, probably six inches at least. And you just kind of eyeball it. Where do we plan on putting it? Um, we're going to time on the... Um, on the whole cups, on the holders here. Okay. I actually had little pieces of lace 
that would look real pretty. You could just actually put it on there. You can actually hand stitch it or you can glue it on. If you're going to glue, I would use Elmer's glue. Do not use a glue gun. The little wads of glue is going to make it really tight. When you go to put your needle in, it's not going to work. So I would just use a little dab of Elmer's glue or just tie it on with the needle. Just a quick little knot. Or just mm -hmm. do a pin. Yep, you can actually put it on there and hold it on with just pins. A lot of people will take the material instead of buying it at the store. Um, if you're really going to make this vintage, use Grandma's old shirt, Grandpa's old pair of pants, and then maybe Grandma's mug or her little teacups. You make it this way, you're not ruining anything. You've used um, something really pretty and vintage. So actually what we have to do is take it. And all we're going to do, I'll have you hold that. All we're going to do is we're going to knot this. Just knot it. I would put a whole bunch of one and then you just trim them down. You can mix match your colors. We have browns. And they don't have to be exact science on the size. You just knot them on because then this can be taken apart later. You're not ruining anything. Let me see if I can get it knotted. Fill that up. We even have buttons. You can tell these are really, really old. These are my grandmother's. So I intend to make a vintage one. This is my grandmother's teacup, a little saucer. So when I get home, I'm going to probably use this material, take the antique buttons off, and then I would just actually you can sew them on, put a couple of them on. We have antique pearl buttons that I've taken. Those could actually be with the ribbon. You could, which I think this is too big. Uh, yeah. You could just thread that on and let them dangle. The options are in endless. So that's this teacup. Here we have another teacup that we did, and it's just brown. Same thing. This is velour. This is a pair of pants that I cut up. Same thing. Just pop that in there. It's done. Instant pin cushion. You could decorate it up. The reason I like the lip is I put my needles in there. I put my thread. And you'll notice on this, um, the fancy little teacup, we took in beeswax. Anyone that says beeswax. I just melted beeswax down, poured them in a little heart mold, and then they sit there because you run your needle through them, run your thread through them. It's a lot easier to sew. You can actually use, if you want to grab the canning jar, old canning jar. You can store all your little supplies inside. I have my buttons, my thimble. This is so simple. Cut a little circle out. Not a lot of fiber fill. Not, it doesn't take a lot at all. Just set it down in here. It's a little tricky sometimes. I would actually paint this probably yellow. Take the circle. And I use stretchy material. It's um, felt, but it's a little stretchy. It's easier to work with. Shove that down in there. Doesn't have to be perfect. The seam pops down in there. You could cut that off. I wasn't even going to glue it. So I could change it out colors. Put it on, instant pin cushion. And then again, you could take some ribbons. Cute little project for our teacher. Just take, you can fill it full of little supplies. Little bow, scissors, snip it. Yeah, that wants to stay. Instant little craft instant little gift. And I think that's what we've got today.